to some of these other engines in here. So that's an old uh, electric pressure washer there, an old weed whacker engine, old chainsaw, cut off saw. So there's one there with a uh, gear reduction on it, an old Briggs and Stratton, I guess. Uh, there's that big ass engine there. I'll make it up close video of that in a few minutes. So yeah. Look at that, even an old outboard motor there. Right in there, kind of hidden. Sweet. Check this out, eh? Hey? Holy. I'm not going to be able to really see anything on there. Don't know. Well, maybe I can see it on the viewpoint of what it is. Look at that, eh? That is freaking pretty heavy duty. What do you want? What do you want? That is pretty sweet. Of course, back in the redneck. Junkyard. There's another one on top of that wheelbarrow there. And a bunch of other junk. Okay, so I just did a little talking with the old owner of this engine. He actually took it right apart to move it because of how heavy it is. Uh, I'm just looking here. There's parts of it kind of thrown everywhere, which is, you know, I guess that's uh, for these guys here. Yeah, what am I doing? one there there should be another one here lying here somewhere he said it was complete uh, but you could see it been sitting look at a piston the rust in the cylinder there uh, have to so I'm just looking to see if all the parts are here I don't think this is a part of it that's an old five horse I was saying sitting on top of it uh, I don't actually see the other uh, freaking cover for that bearing cap it's missing also the bottom aluminum ones uh, yeah, it looks like it's missing its share of parts. So, mind you, it could be in the water tank here, so I don't feel like really taking that apart to find out. Uh, an old charger for an old drill or something? Yep. <laughs> no way. I guess it'd be good for decoration, but that's pretty much it. Kind of sucks that it's missing parts. <laughs>